Wednesday, October 28th, and I'm Taylor Gay. And I'm Heather Rogers. As we enter our ninth week of school, things are starting to speed up for our students here on campus. Running full force is the Theater Guild's fall production, Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. We have Titan TV News producer Katie Hansen talking with the Theater Guild president and star of the fall play, Emily March. Thank you, Heather. I'm here with president of the Theater Guild, Emily March, and star of the fall play, Taming of the Shrew. Emily, what character do you play in Taming of the Shrew, and what is the show about? I play the main character, Catherine Nola, and the play is about two people, um, very headstrong people, um, Catherine Nola and Petruchio. And they're forced into this marriage, and they have to learn to put up with each other, and eventually they learn to love each other. Thanks, Emily. And now we'll have a few short scenes from the show performed by some of the cast. Talk of me. My paper, you know this plain Kate and Bonnie Kate and sometimes Kate Turf. Stop! But let him that moved you hither remove you hence. I knew her at first. You were immovable. Clubs meeting today will be Chess Club in H7, Dungeons and Dragons in C6, Mitcha in H10, FCA in D16 and speech and debate in D5. Thanks again, Maddie and Katie. Now we're turning to Nico Alvarez for our weekly weather report. All right, what up, Poway? So far, the weather is Wednesday, Thursday. We got high 70s, lows about 50. And then Friday and Saturday, it's going to be a little bit colder, only by like 10 degrees, if that. So low 70s, low 50s for the day. Back to the studio. Thanks, Nico. We're moving into flu season and many people are calling in sick since the H1N1 virus and regular flu are going around. Charges. So wash your hands and help keep our school healthy and clean. Yes. Hopefully everyone does remember to wash their hands. We don't want an outbreak here at Poway High. Now turning to sports, this past weekend, the Poway High Titans varsity football team played Vista High at Vista. Unfortunately, Titans were defeated. Now we'll go to our sports reporter, Megan, with more details on the game. Thanks. Last Friday, Poway's varsity football unfortunately lost to Vista 0-23. But one thing that never goes unnoticed at the games is Poway's own Emerald Brigade. This past Saturday, they competed in the Mount Carmel Tournament and took second place. Now here's more on the story. Hi, I'm Ryan Godfrey. I'm the uh, band president of the Emerald Brigade. And hi, I'm Melissa Fernandez, and I'm the head drum major of the Emerald Brigade. Uh, we have a really exciting show this year. It's entitled Clockworks, and uh, obviously it's inspired by uh, the theme of clocks. It's a really exciting show to perform, and it's also a really exciting show to watch. Yeah, and this past weekend we had our Mount Carmel tournament. We did really well, and some upcoming shows that we're going to be doing are going to be at Mission Hills, uh, Scripps Ranch, and our championship show is going to be at Corona. Please welcome our next competitor in Class 6A from Poway, California, the Poway Emerald Brigade. Peer Counseling put on their annual PLUS event. PLUS is where the peer council leaders and students unite together to combat problems that they face here on campus. Now let's turn to our activities reporter Becca with more news on this story. 
Like you said, last Monday, October 19th, peer counseling held its PLUS event held in K1. The goal was to create awareness of problems around campus and to create a bond between peer leaders and students. It was a huge success. Now more on this event. PLUS is Peer Leaders Uniting Students and it's an all-day field trip in K1 every year that peer counseling um, puts on talk about problems going on as drugs and alcohol, cliques, racism, and those are usually the big three main topics that go on in our campus and we need to make people aware of that and try to find solutions to do this, you know, and why not get our own student body to try and help and make these solutions in our own campus. Thanks, Becca. Well, that's all for the Wednesday News. I'm Taylor Gay. And I'm Heather Rogers. And this has been Titan TV News. Yeah.